Hi everyone, I'm Greg Cottrell, the owner of Rugged Radios, and today I'm so excited to announce the new Mac M3 helmet blower system. This is the next evolution in helmet blower. It's light, it's small, it's compact, but you know what? It builds pressure. It builds five times the pressure of any blower we've ever done. You know what? That's a big thing. It's not just about CFM rating. It's about amount of air pressure you can push through the hose into the helmet. In turn, more pressure, more air, and wow, you can't believe what this can push inside the helmet. The M3 is built to build pressure. With restrictions in hoses, in helmets, and other variables, what happens is this. Say you have a short hose. A conventional pumper can have more volume of air through a shorter hose than a longer hose. So if you don't have a convenient spot to mount the bumper close to you, you could have loss through the hose. Also, helmets. Helmets have a lot to do with air inlet on the inside of the helmets. What happens is this. Manufacturers can't put a big one inch hole in the top of the helmet. They might only be allowed to put multiple small holes on the top of the helmet. So what happens is this, when you put the helmet on, your head, the lining, everything can cause a restriction inside the helmet. That's why you need to build pressure. Now you can build pressure that forces air through the channels that are made inside the helmet. Cool the top of your head, get the dirt away from your eyes, and blow all that dust and dirt out the bottom of the helmet. That's why you need pressure. So it's not just about CFM rating and volume of air. It's about the amount of air pressure we can build and force air through the helmet. That's where the new M3 excels. Manufacturing the M3 wasn't an easy task. We wanted to mix carbon fiber and billet aluminum and the best in motor design. This is a brushless motor. What it does, it draws very little amps, only 3.4 at full RPM. That's the beauty about the M3, very little amp draw at full capacity. This is real carbon fiber. We use billet aluminum with the carbon fiber in the middle. It has holes on the sides for mounting. It comes pre-wired with waterproof connectors. The beauty about this, all together, 1.6 pounds. It's very, very light. In racing, a lot of cars are concerned with weight. So we wanted to make something that was a very powerful and the lightest weight possible. That's why we combined the latest in technology in building the M3. When it comes to filtering the air, we partnered with one of the best automotive air filter companies in the industry. This isn't just a car filter. This is designed for the Mac M3. This is a special dry media, but it's washable. So it's not a one-time use filter. This filter, you can use the entire Baja 1000, come back, wash the filter, let it dry, and have it ready for the next race. We've also partnered with Outerwear. This is a micron particulate outerwear cover. This is gonna filter a lot of the particulates, the dust, the silt, everything, before it even gets to the filter. So it even works better. But the one thing about outerwear, it's very low restriction. Because this motor pulls so much air that we had to mix the best in filtration and the least amount of resistance. The new M3 turns at an astounding 14,000 RPM. So to keep this under control, we have the variable speed controller. The rugged VSCs, what this does is this. It pulses the ground. It's just not just a rheostat. This is pulses the ground controlling the motor. So turn it on. For staging, you don't need a lot of air. You can turn it way down. So defogging the shield, keeping you comfortable. But say you're racing and you hit that silt bed. Silt goes everywhere, in through the shield, into everything. It's really hard to deal with. You have your skirt on your helmet. That goes around the bottom of the helmet. You hit a silt bed, all that silt comes inside the car. You turn the VSC all the way up to the top. So this is putting out the most amount of pressure. It pressurizes the helmet and it pushes all the dirt and silt out the helmet, out the bottom, through the skirt, any hole, it's gonna push it out of the helmet. That's the beauty about the M3 building pressure. You control the amount of pressure you want. 
from simply low pressure defogging the shield to full pressure cooling the top of your head down, getting all the dirt out of the helmet, the VSC controls everything about the M3. We made mounting your M3 very simple. We put mounting holes right on the side. What this is for is this, we make bar mounts. These bolt directly to the side of the M3, so you put one on each side. We make them an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarters. I believe it's about 1.8 for those Can-Am guys, and we have two inch. So now, you can easily mount this M3 to any roll bar, and it's only 1.6 pounds. So it's very light, you can put it anywhere. You can mount it upside down. It doesn't matter any position that the M3 runs at. So no matter where you want it, simply bar mount it, bolt the thing on, plug it in, and you're good to go. We've got the nozzle cover. Okay, what you can do is this. You can simply slide it over. Say you're only using the M3 for one person. You can put the cover right over the other nozzle. Or you take off your hoses, you wanna slide these over both nozzles to keep particulates out of it while you're not racing. We have these available. We also have hose hangers. The hose hanger, this billet end, it mounts right to any one of our bar mounts. So you know we have all those sizes, it simply bolts right to it. What this does is this, when you unplug from the helmet, you can put your hose hanger up above on top of the roll cage, and you can take your hose and simply slide it over and plug it in. Now, this is gonna keep dust and dirt out of the hose while you're not using it. You're washing the car, you don't wanna get water down the hose. Simply plug it in. It's a very simple, easy adapter for your hose. In our Mac line of blowers, we have hoses. Now, we make the hoses in different sizes. We have four foot, we have six foot. The beauty about the M3 is it doesn't matter. Before, you want to run the shortest possible hose to get the most amount of air at the end of it. The M3 builds so much pressure, it doesn't matter. So you can mount your M3 where convenient. You can get a four foot or six foot hose. Say for instance, you have a special car that you need a longer hose, you can call us and we can make a custom length hose for you. That's the beauty about it. Whatever you need, we can do it. To complement the M3 and the helmet blower systems, we have helmet skirts. What the skirt does, these Velcro on to the bottom side of the helmet and hang down below the helmet. What that does, that keeps the dirt from coming up inside the helmet. What you wanna do is, is you want the air coming in the top and blow the dirt out the bottom. So that's when a helmet skirt's very important. We have two different type of helmet skirts. We make the sand skirt. The sand skirt is really lightweight and comfortable. Hey, a lot of guys, you know, UTVs, you have to wear a helmet. So now, you put on a full face helmet, you have your blower, it's keeping your head cool, and you have this nice sand skirt that keeps the sand from coming up underneath. That way you never have sand in your eyes again. It works great. For the racers, we have the race skirt. These are Nomex lined. These are the fireproof Nomex line that are required. Those were great. They're a little bit stronger, a little stiffer, come down a lot more, but you know what? They really keep the silt and the dirt and the dust out. So when you're buying your Mac Air, don't forget your helmet skirt. Here at Rugged Radios, we're always pushing the envelope. We always wanna build a better product, something that is outstanding. That's why the M3 is here. Carbon fiber, billet aluminum, the best in motors, the best in filter design, and lightweight and small package. That's what makes the M3 the absolute best in the industry. Rugged radios, work, race, play, and design. We are the authority in communications.